Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the evening. Three rounds in a final of a heavyweight tournament tonight to find out who becomes tournament champion of glory. Will it be Murad Aigoon or Tariq Osaro? This is your main event of the evening, a heavyweight tournament final, which much bigger implications than who becomes the tournament champion. On the line, a chance to compete for the interim heavyweight championship of the world this June, and a spot in the $500,000 Grand Prix tournament to wrap up the 2023 season. This bout is sanctioned by Vaughn, and Alex Engelhardt is with us ringside. At the bell, your referee is Edward Stryker. For the glory fans with us live inside Ahoy here in Rotterdam, and kickboxing fans watching around the world, it's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he now improves his record to 34 wins with two losses and nine career knockouts. At six feet even, 1.85 meters, he went in at 252 pounds, 114.3 kilos. Fighting out of Turkey, please welcome back Marat the Butcher! His opponent, standing on her right and fighting out of the white corner, improves his professional record to 22 wins, two losses, one draw, and 11 career knockouts. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at 272.7 pounds, 123.7 kilos. He fights out of Nigeria. Here again, Tariq Cookie. And again, your referee in charge is Edward Stryker. Another finale. You nervous, Antonio? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. Fighters. I, it feels like I am fighting. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay, fighters, you know the glory rules, yeah? Protect yourself at all times and listen to my comments, yeah? There is no standing eight count. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. A lot of redness on the right shoulder. Yeah, you know. Maybe from a massage, what would he be getting done there? Some ice or... Judge, judge. Uh, maybe he was patting himself fight. on the shoulder too hard after that first win. Let's see. Scheduled for three rounds, the winner fights Antonio Plazabot for the interim heavyweight title. Cookie keeping the distance like he should. Yep, try to use that jab to set things Ooh. up. Argu got inside, landed a right. He's got to close the distance, an 11 inch reach advantage for Cookie. From what it looks like, Cookie's just going to keep the distance and pick him apart. Oh, nice body kick and a straight right, and then cut him with an uppercut. Argu on run, run, run. the back watch foot. Out, watch out. And when yeah. Cookie opens up, he gets wild. Fight. He'll stay patient, but when he sees blood, he goes. I also like for Cookie being a big guy, the way he mixes his body kicks and low kicks. Can't afford to get careless against somebody that hits as hard as Argoon. Ooh! That's the danger of low kicks versus a power puncher. Counter right, got him again. Oh, the knees kind of wobbled there, Antonio. Yes, yes, yes. He's catching him every time he's coming in. I think this will be over soon. And Igun is keeping his head pretty oh. low. Ooh. Right, step back. You Fight. can see that right hand's there, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, I feel almost feel like it's going to take one big blasting combination right. from Cookie. Especially if he can keep that range Fight. and keep Igun away from clinching him. Body shot. Right. But Argoon is so tight and compact, Antonio, Fight. if he can get inside and land one of his hooks, it could be lights out for Asara. He's just waiting for one, one strong punch. You can just see Cookie wants to take his head off. 
A lot of times he overthrows his punches. That's why he ends up in the clinch. But if he can pick a few shots, I'm telling you, this is going to be a quick night for him. I would like Cookie to throw more body kicks that he used in the, in the beginning right. of the fight. Right. It went good. Kept his distance right. a little longer. Yeah, fight. and hit him right in the liver. A running left hand scores. And there's the knee, but it's blocked by Argu. He's almost crashing his distance, but here he goes. Bad body language from the Turkish fighter. Trying to use head movement to avoid the inevitable. He's waiting for Kuki. Oh, my. That is called a power jab. Oh, that left hand landed, though, for Argun. Argun just got to fire out of the shell or he's going to get put out. Antonio, was, why is he trying to get out of the corner? Wait, right, that knee sends him down. Yeah. That knee sends him One, down with 10 two, seconds to go. Three. He's four, gonna be saved by the bell, five, it looks like. Six, seven. Maybe there is eight, some problem ten, with five. the hand, the way he shakes it. Let's see. Fight. That'll do it for round one, but it's 10-8 for Cookie Asaro. Yeah, Aigun didn't finish good round. He looks pretty bad and shake the right hand pretty weird. Every time we see Osaro, it just gets more confident in the ring. Yes, he's getting better and better. Oh, well, that's what you get when you train with me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like that. There's that right hand that kind of got him off kilter, Joe. Yeah, you can see, though, how aggressive he gets. And even with his stance, he'll switch stances while he's punching. And he just, until he meets his target, then he'll just unload. At the same time, he's orthodox and unorthodox. Yeah, seriously. So things are looking good for Cookie. Antonio, you may have to defriend him on social media. Yeah, he, he wins, I think. No talking, no hanging out, no, no. social media till the fight. Yeah. Mute him, block him. That's it. Yep. He's dead to you. Yeah, block him on Reddit, on Discord, <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Round two. Fight! So here we go, round two. And Asaro comes out swinging. Antonio, how does Argun get back in this fight? It does not look good because he cannot get in without getting punched. And every time he gets in, he gets clipped by the right hand because, as you see, Aigun's hands are pretty low. Yeah, I think a good shot for Asaro would be after Aigun's done punching, counter punch and go. One of Plazabot's hey, best tactics. And remember, yes. Cookie Asaro Fight. threw a hundred more strikes than Argun did in his opening bout. So fatigue could be a problem. The only thing Cookie should not do now is punch him out. You can see he's a little slower this round and I a little bit more aggressive. Hey man, Argun's coming on. Ooh. Oh, and he landed a right hand. He landed a big right. Yeah, I feel hey. Cookie likes to lead, but he doesn't do enough block Fight. countering. Yeah, he's, they are both very open fighters, right. both use more right. head movement right. than the blocking, Fight. classical and kickboxing. So Argun right. not out of this Five just yet. Argun maybe with a nice overhand right can give him some success, but... Right. Yeah, and Argun right. showing pretty good chin. Fight. He took basically everything to his head and still standing. He's a 36 fight Ooh. veteran. Is oh. all, but he landed a right hand. Cookie scored two. Cookie's rock. No. Oh. Cookie trying to smile it off. Great. We haven't really fight. seen Cookie throw some uppercuts. A nice rear uppercut could be good. Number two. Right. Goon's dipping his head in. And I just saw fight. Sorrow glance up at the clock, Antonio. Yeah, I think he punched some out of himself out. Oh, oh that right hand. Oh. How did our Goon not go down? He oh. does there. A right cross. Whoa. Four, five, six, He's still in. Seven. He's still in it. One. one more knockdown, and this fight's over. Here we go. Cookie now a lot more patient. It looks like Cookie's a little bit out of the air now. Argun knows he can hurt a sorrow if he can get inside. Aigun is just power shot guy. Wait and throw power shot. I don't think he's thrown one kick, has he? It's now Osara waiting in the corner. Oh, that Ooh, right he's down. down again, and that will do it. Cookie Osara 
advances to face Red. Antonio Plaza oh. in June oh. for the interim Six. heavyweight championship Seven. of the world. Hey. Hands on. That's Fight. it. That's three knockdowns. Oh. Am I wrong? No, to me it was three. Am I wrong? Yeah, I don't think the judge understands it. He do this as a normal fight, not a tournament fight. Unless I can't add to three. That was three knockdowns, was it not? Yeah, to me it was. Yes, I think it was the judge. He forgot this is a tournament, not a normal fight. Yeah, the way Cookie came in with, from a southpaw there, then he just hits you. That's when he's throwing his counters. That's when he was doing great success, pressuring forward. Well, Ooh. if the fight is not over, Cookie just needs to finish the round and he's winning for sure. Oh, the nice. It's the counter shots from Cookie when he's able to catch you when you're throwing. He's got to find more of that if he's got some energy. Well, the fight continues. Well, maybe it is four knockdowns. Either way, fight. he's still alive. Is Argoon. Ooh, nice little shift stance. Oh, and he's going to go down again. Swing and a miss for Asaro. This is going to be over soon. Argoon is getting hit too much. There's no moving up to that. Boy, Argoon, he knows he's got that right hand. He's, whoa! Cookie is now doing more technical, don't want to risk the fight or anything, or take some silly shot. Using his straight punches, moving backwards. There's that nice counter from Osaro. Fight! Well, two more minutes and Cookie got this in the bag. Argoon, though, we saw, can end this fight with one punch. He did it in his first fight. I think he took too much damage. He's just now looking for survival. Right. Maybe throw, right. throw some crazy Hail Mary shot. Round. Fight! He's not even trying to attack. He's just standing, coming to his senses. Oh, and a right Ooh. hand for Argoon! This Turkish crowd trying to fight, urge him on. Break, guys. And Cookie Turkey knows the place. job isn't done yet. Oh, and downstairs again for Argoon. Yes, body, body, head. He still got energy, Antonio. Yes. Now this. Uh, oh, oh, that oh. And hey. that's it. Surely it's over One, now. Two, three. Four. Five, Igun is done. He six, was out on his feet. Seven, I'm not going to get excited. Eight, four times over. There you that's go. it. All right. We know who's fighting Antonio Plaza, but in June at Collision, and his name is Tariq Cookie Asaro. Yeah, he had to dig deep for this one. He finds his power, but if he doesn't knock you out, Igun kept coming forward, so he had to work, but just shows he's going to fight five rounds with Antonio Plaza, but he's got to get his cardio up. Yes, it's true. He, he lost the air a bit, not looking good, hanging over the ropes, but he did the job done. He got a powerful right hand. Everybody needs to, to watch about that, and I think this only proves, like, we did a good job as a gym. Yeah. Well, hey, now it's time to not be his friend. He's your mortal enemy. You've yeah. worked with him several times. How much better are you than Cookie? I think I'm much better. I think I'm the, ne the next one, but it's not for me to talk. It's for me to prove that. And I'm ready for that. I cannot wait. I, d I feel sorry because it's my teammate, but like I said, I'm opening a glow I opening Plaza the Hall of Fame where I'm heading. People knockouts in my highlights, so I saw it has to be him, but hey. it's his problem. He won the tournament. Hey, sometimes we have to hurt the ones we love, right? Yes, it is true. So the question now is which corner 
will Big Mike be in? Uh, yeah, that, that's the question. I think you need to ask, ask him that. Well, you know what you say is you go, Mike, listen, he needs more help than I do, right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe we do it that way. Like yeah. me alone in the corner, giving my <laughs> giving water to myself. Well, you said, you said it's not even going to go one round, so you won't even need Mike, will you? Yeah, that's true. Well, you're going to go in there and give us a stare down here in a minute? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it. All right. So Tim Hughes makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end with an official time of two minutes and eight seconds of that third and final round when our referee Edward Stryker steps in and waves off this contest for your winner by technical knockout and now glory heavyweight tournament champion Tariq Osaro. Once again, our head of talent operations, Robbie Timbers with the tournament trophy. All right, once again, we get to talk to Tariq Osaro, now with the champion. How does it feel to be the champ? Bro, uh, I have no words, man. To be honest, it was a uh, rough ride, this uh, preparation. Me, myself, I've come a long way in my life. And standing here today, having so much support, pleasing the fans, I guess, means a lot. It's, it's, words can describe the feeling I have now. Well, there was a lot on the line winning this. You get entered into the Grand Prix at the end of the year in December. What does it mean to be part of that? That's half a million dollars. Like I said, words can describe how I feel right now. I'm the first guy in the Grand Prix. I mean, to be honest, I think nobody thought I would be the first guy. And I got the chance to fight for the interim title. So I'm very happy, I'm very happy. Well, that interim title is coming in June, and it's against somebody you know very well. You train with him. Give me your thoughts on the fight against Antonio Plazibat. Man, that's going to be the hardest fight in my career. Plazibat, I love you, but I think we have to give the fans a very good show, bro. Thank you very much. All right, Antonio, you got a teammate here. How are we going to be doing this training and preparation for this fight? Well, like I said, we are enemies from now on till the fight is done. Block on Facebook, block on Instagram, <laughs> block in the gym, block on Reddit, on Discord, everything, and we do the fight. And we do it in one round. One man standing and no it's problem. No problem. All right, Coach Big Mike, how is this gonna happen for you? Are we gonna have to keep them separate in the gym? What are we doing? Well, uh, we need to sit down and talk about it first. And then we'll see it. And we're going to give you a hell of a fight because that's our job, making people happy. All right, let's hear it for your winner for your tournament, Tariq Osaru. So congratulations to Tariq Cookie Osaru, who gets two wins in one night. He's now 24-2-1 with 12 KOs. And man, I tell you what. That fight at Collision is going to be something special. Both men saying, hey, I don't think it's going to go longer than one round as Joseph Baltolini joins me back here ringside. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Nobody wants to fight their friend. It's unfortunate that it happens this way. But hey, when there's a half a million dollars on the line, a world title on the line, man, I'd, I'd beat up my best friend for that. No problem.